Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at signs someone is not a good person. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. When they always playfully insult you, but can't handle any criticism about themselves at all. Right, when they always insult your insecurities and then you say something about them and they're like, oh, can't believe you've done this. They keep reminding you that they're a nice person. <laughs> I'm a nice person, come on, just trust me. Why don't you trust me? I'm so nice. <laughs> I honestly hate it when someone is just all words. Like you gotta show them that you're nice. Like you gotta show them through actions that you're a nice person. You can't just say that you're nice, you know? Don't mistake niceness for goodness. Some of the best, most morally consistent and forward-thinking people I know are also rigid and unpleasant to deal with. And some of the slimiest, most backstabbing sons of a bitches I work with every day are nice enough to charm you into loving them. Niceness is a demeanor. Goodness is a core value. <gasps> wow, well said, honestly. Yeah, that's very true. You can just be nice on the surface, but in the inside, you're like the worst person ever. But that's the thing that's hard to spot in some people though, because, you know, someone can be nice on the outside, but then once you know them, they're actually like the worst person ever. And someone could be like kind of hard to deal with on the outside, but once you know them, they're actually like the best person ever. Like I have a friend who I had like a really bad impression of. And then once I got to know them, I was like, oh shoot, they're actually a really good person. And then I could have really good first impressions of someone, but then get to know them and they're just like trash, like, uh. And I guess some people are just like very quick to judge sometimes that they just don't even want to know the person based off of a bad first impression. Like I'd have friends tell me that they didn't like the friend that I was hanging out with and I was like, so what? I like them. And them not liking that friend was based off of like a really lame excuse. And I'm just like, well, you don't even know them. You don't even try to get to know them. Of course you wouldn't know what they're like as a person. So yeah, I'm not friends with those people anymore, but I'm still friends with that one friend that I had a bad first impression of, but ended up getting really close to them. It's just crazy how some people will try to bring other people down when they don't even know them at all. <sighs> like, I thought you guys were better people, man. There are usually two types of people. The it's their job anyways, and the no need to make the job any harder. For example, if someone just dumps the trash wherever at a restaurant, store, etc. because it's someone's job to clean it up, they're probably kind of a jerk. I agree. <laughs> I hate it when someone is like, well, this is a job anyways, let's just go. <laughs> Not hanging out with you ever. It's such a turn off. Like one sentence can just make you realize what someone is really like. Like, yeah, it's a job, but it only takes one second to make it not harder for them. Everything you say you've done, they've done twice. Oh, that one upper. Hey, I had such a bad day today. Yeah? Well, I had a worse day than you. Wh wh why was your day so bad? Hmm? I needed time off because my dad was getting pretty major surgery on his face to remove a large cancer. His response was, well, my dad had cancer and my stepdad died of cancer. Like, okay, I'm really sorry to hear that, but I still need the day off. Ended up really hating that guy. Who even says that? Like, you're not... <sighs> okay, 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 okay. Hold on a second. You went through that. You know how it feels. His dad had cancer and his stepdad died of cancer. Why is he not like, I totally understand. Go take the day off. Why is he like, so what? He's so heartless. That's how you know that person is not a nice person. For sure. If they always tell their side of the story like they can do nothing wrong and how everyone hates them for absolutely no reason, they'll sometimes also plot to screw people over for absolutely no reason. That's signs of straight manipulator. Currently dealing with someone like that, but he doesn't know we know he's trying to ruin our lives. What? Why would you try to ruin someone's life? Like what a waste of time. Do something better with your life, dude. People who just bring drama with them, yeah. 
You don't need those people in your life, honestly. Pretty much a walking red flag. Like everywhere they go, there's drama. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we all know someone like that. Everywhere they go, there's always a story about something or someone that they don't like or someone that's just being so annoying. Oh, like, dude, we know you're the problem. Like, we know, okay? We know. They treat people they consider beneath them like crap. Yeah, we don't need those people. And how does someone even consider someone, like, lower than them? Like, what? Based off of what? Based off of what do you think you're better than someone? If you hear them talk bad about other people, they probably do the same about you. <laughs> Man, this is so like high school. I mean, I'm pretty sure this happens a lot, but when you grow older, you grow out of it. Like so many people grow out of this phase, okay? Like a lot of people do it because everyone around them does it and it just becomes like a cycle, right? If you still do this when you're like a freaking adult at your workplace or whatever, why? Like... <laughs> why why would you still do this like no one cares about these kind of things anymore like it just gets old gossiping gets old honestly like it just gets annoying when someone that you know goes to you and talks bad about their best friend and then the best friend comes and then all of a sudden they're saying how the best friend is like the best person ever <laughs> okay i had that situation before and we told her and they're not friends anymore good riddance like does anyone know why they do that though why would you talk bad about your best friend right and then you just lose them in the end like there's no winning in that situation nothing is ever their fault they always find some way to shift the blame to others oh cheaters who blame other people are the worst people ever you know how you'd hear stories about cheaters being like do you know why i cheated because you couldn't provide me with this yeah well that's not a good excuse to cheat if they couldn't provide you with something that you really needed talk to them about it dude like do people not communicate like you have a mouth right talk if you're still not satisfied with the result or whatever then break up so you're not wasting their time anymore honestly it just always gets me so mad when i read about like cheating stories and it's just like cheaters just always think they're right they hardly think they're wrong they always think it's not their fault why they cheated. My grandpa always says you can tell a person's character by whether they push the chair in when they leave. In my experience, it has turned out to be right about 80% of the time. Oh, I guess it's because whether they take a little bit of time out of their lives to just do something that they didn't need to do what makes it easier for other people. <laughs> now everyone watching this video is gonna be like, I'm gonna make sure I push my chair in. But I feel like nowadays people can fake it so well, you know, especially if they're with someone. But if they're not with someone, then you can't really tell because you're not with them to witness how they actually treat the service people when they're alone, right? Some people, they just treat the service people a lot nicer when you're there with them to just show you how nice they are, right? People have learned how to fake it really well these days. Hmm. They are unkind to people they don't believe can do anything for them. Oh. Hate these kind of people. They only do things that benefit them, huh? Oh, you selfish little butthole. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.